purging our closets in five steps. So as a lady who loves to shop and buy things and just put them in her wardrobe, I also like to get rid of things that I absolutely do not wear anymore or that does not fit my personal style anymore. In this video, I wanted to share my top five things that you should do when purging or detoxing your closet. But first, I wanna let you guys know that I am going to be doing a series on how to build the perfect wardrobe that you love. I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes so we can get into these things in my closet. This video is gonna be very detailed and I want you guys to take a pen, write things down. If you've never done a closet detox or a purge and you've just pretty much thrown things out, you're doing it wrong. So stay tuned, let me change my clothes and let's get into this purge guys. All right guys, so I already started the purge and decided to just like grab everything and put it on a rolling rack for you guys. The first step you always wanna do is separate your clothes by type. If you do not separate your clothes by type, you are going to be there all day trying to detox and purge the items in your closet. Another reason why you want to separate it is so that you know exactly what you have in your wardrobe. This will give you an idea of what you have and it'll give you a bigger picture of what's in your wardrobe. Get all your items together. Anything in your wardrobe, you want to pull every single thing out of your closet. I'm going to also give you guys some more things once I go into the actual wardrobe, but these are the pieces that I pulled out first. So let's get into the second step. The second thing you wanna do is get to purging. So I'm gonna go through the actual wardrobe itself and pull out any other pieces that I haven't worn within a year or two years, things that may have tags on it that I've purchased years ago, things that are ill-fitting, things that are too small, things like that. Let's get into this part of my closet. This is my top area. So I don't have a ton of stuff. You guys already know I'm really big on quality. So I'm very strategic about the things that I buy, but I already know that I have some stuff in here that I haven't worn in a while and that may have tags. So let me just start breezing through here. So I have a couple of items from Zara that I absolutely love that, um, that fit me really well. And then there's some things that, that don't fit me well that I just kept in the closet. Not a good thing to do, ladies. I'm so serious. For example, this top right here. Okay, can you guys see all this little zhuzh here? I don't even know if you guys can. I bought this so many years ago in New York. And guys, this is from H&M. And it still has the tag. I wish it had the date on here. But it still has the tag. This is not something that I'm going to be wearing anymore. So this is going to actually go on this pile of stuff here. I'm gonna get rid of things that I'm not going to wear or that has a tag on it that's ill-fitting or too small. All right, so let's see what else I got in here. So this top, this is, to me, this is still on trend because it's sheer and this is a trendy piece for me. Uh, this is from Zara. This is old Zara. Child, old Zara used to have some really, really nice stuff. So this is old Zara, so this is something that I would keep in my closet. So this is gonna go into another pile. But let's get the rest of the stuff that I actually am not going to keep. Um, this looks like one. All right, this top is from H&M as well. Now, when I say ill-fitting, this is an example. I hope, I, mean, I wonder if I have a, if I have a photo with this one, I'll show you guys. The reason why I don't like this top is because if you can see how the sleeves are, the shoulders are here, the end of the shoulder piece, but the way this bottom piece where the pit is, it's awkward. It gives me a lot of space under my arm. I'll show you guys how it looks on me. So it gives too much space here and the body of it, it's really, really boxy and it doesn't look good on my frame. So when we're purging things in my closets, we wanna pull out things that don't fit our body types as well. A lot of the girls that I see online they're buying things because they see influencers wearing them. Girls, those girls are small, okay? So you have to pay attention to what you're buying and don't buy things that don't fit your frame. So this is a really nice top, but this is not something that looks well on me because it's giving me too much of a, a bunch here. So that's gonna get out of here, all right? Let's see what else we got in here. My shirts are pretty good. I may have, uh, let me see. Yeah, I think my shirts are good. 
I'm going to bend down to see what I have in the drawer down at the bottom. And see, because I have some pants here. Oh, yes. So recently, I cleaned up my closet and just kind of moved some stuff around. Took some stuff, just took some spring stuff off of the racks. Now, these are too small, okay? Two small items have to go. I don't care. I'm probably gonna show these, show you guys how these look on me. Too small and also, I'm not into the tapered bottom as much as I was when I worked in an office. So this is something that I'm going to take out of my closet. But things that we're gonna remove are things that are no longer our style and that are too small, right? So too big, too small, um, well, it's a little sketchy on the too big and I'll tell you why. Uh, but these are not my style anymore solely because they're tapered at the bottom. I'm not into tapered pants as much as I was when I worked in an office. So I have two of these and these are gonna come out. We're gonna grab these and we're gonna put them on <laughs> this rack there. <laughs> See what else we got? Things that are faded, okay? Things that are faded, things that are damaged, uh, things that, um, are just worn out and you may have to replace it if it's something that you want to keep or just something that you want to get rid of. So let's see. I do have, I have some, I have some jeans here, right? These jeans are, in my head, they're faded. Can you guys see? And they're skinny jeans. Now y'all know, we're not wearing skinny jeans no more, okay? <laughs> we're not wearing them so something like this I'm gonna get rid of it's no longer my style skinny jeans no longer my style okay I'm not gonna wear them it's just not my thing something that is too big these right here these are Levi now these are a size 32 I'm not a 32 I did lose some weight so they're rather big on me and I'll show you guys these as well on me but they're just too big for my frame so but they're still in great condition. As a matter of fact, everything on this, this rack is probably going to go on my Poshmark store. So I'll link that below if you guys are interested in, you know, shopping my Poshmark store. But I have a ton of stuff on there that's really, really, really nice. So let me just take these and throw these here. Actually, let me take the pants and put them all here. Right? I think that's it for over here. Uh, let me see. I may have some blazers, some more blazers and stuff over there. Uh, let me check this drawer. Okay. I have some skirts in here. These skirts, and I may have, I think this is it. So I recently just moved a lot of stuff around in my closet. So it's pretty much in order. I just haven't gotten rid of it. <laughs> so this is the perfect opportunity to do a video and show you guys what I'm getting rid of. So this is a skirt. It's like a wrap. It's like a, it's a wrap, but it's not a wrap where you can actually pull it really tight. So I got this from Express. Really great condition. So this is going to go on my other pile. So when we get to that, I'll tell you guys what that is. And this. So, okay. So we got rid of the things that we do not want to keep. Let me just grab a, a jacket or two out of here. And I can already tell you, this is in really good condition, this section. And that's solely because I just did some moving around in here. And a lot of the stuff I did put on my Poshmark already, but there's always more guys. So my blazers, really great blazers. Absolutely love them all. But I can tell you right now, there's two in here. I can look at it <laughs> and tell you, I don't know the last time I wore them. In Atlanta, the weather has been changing crazy. So this jacket here, this is a jacket from Banana Republic, and it's a really cute, like, bomber style jacket, but it's too small now, and it's no longer my style. So I'm gonna take this out and purge this, and these are my Lamarck blazers. These are my Lamarck, Lamarck, my custom blazer, Zara jacket, Lamarck. Uh, this is my, what is this? This is my Ronnie Kobo. Okay, this jacket. I thrifted this jacket like a couple of years ago, but it's way too big for me. 
and I am going to purge it because it's it's oversized, but it's like extremely oversized, like almost like almost bigger than the Frankie shop. <laughs> so this is going to come out of here. So that's it for this side. I think I'm pretty good over here. Possibly. Let me see. Let's check the pants rack. Okay. I don't know why I don't get rid of these. And this. This is this is I'll show you guys this as well. I think that's it. From that section where my pants were, I do have two items here that I absolutely do not want. <laughs> Um, I'll show you guys how this looks on me and why I don't want it as a tall girl. So as tall women, we really have to pay attention to when things have like elastics in the middle because if they're in the wrong position, they're going to look weird on us. So I'll show you guys that. And then I'll show you guys these pants here. Had these for years. These are from Kenneth Cole. They're so big. But they're so nice. So they do have a drawstring. I'm gonna put these on my Poshmark because I think these are really, really nice. And they weren't cheap. So they're just like a jogger, a coated jogger. But so that's the second part. We have to purge the things that we're not gonna keep in our wardrobes. And we have to be honest with ourselves and not keep things that, dare I say, inspiration clothes and if you girls know what an inspiration outfit or a piece is that is when you buy something that is entirely too small for you because you plan on losing weight we do not buy and keep inspiration clothes in our wardrobes ladies let's get into the third step of this purge so we can get on to this final steps third step is donate you want to have a box or a pile of things that you're going to donate and things that should be in a donate pile are things that are in great condition good condition things that are not worn out things that are no longer your style and you want to give it to someone else who's going to appreciate the item and also you want to have things in this donate pile that you have not worn in a year or two guys okay <laughs> we're not keeping those clothes we're taking things out of our closets that do not serve a purpose, all right? That is the key to having a wardrobe full of things that you absolutely love. I'll say this, looking at a lot of people online and their closet tours and stuff, a lot of women have a ton of clothes. I have done detoxes and purges for people and women have hundreds of jeans, guys. Hundreds of jeans, that's insane to me. Like you don't need that many pair of jeans. Now as tall women, we do tend to have less jeans than others because it's really hard for us to find jeans, but we also don't need a lot of jeans in our closets. We need a dark blue, a light wash, a black pair, maybe a coated pair, a leather pair, um, and maybe a pop of color or something, but you don't need a ton of jeans. Maybe something that's distressed, something that's not distressed, but trying to build a jean collection too you don't need a hundred pair of jeans the stuff that we're going to add to the donate pile again are things that are in great condition so all of the stuff that i pulled out prior to the video and the things that i just pulled out are all in great condition the reason why they're in great condition is because i take care of my stuff to the fullest so anything that i'm selling on poshmark is going to be in great condition it's not going to have any rips in it it's not going to have any smells in it <laughs> because i do take everything that i put on poshmark to the dry cleaners is something that I just do. If I'm selling something, it's just something that I do. So I'm gonna link my Poshmark store below, but since we are here at this point of the video, make sure you are liking the video if you like what you see, guys. All right, so again, the donate stuff. Remember I said skinny jeans is not my thing? Here's some more. These are like really, really skinny. Not my thing. Um, here's a jacket that I used to sell on my boutique. Um, getting rid of this if you guys are interested in this let me know um and i'll point you to the poshmark store because i'm gonna put it up there this is like a denim on denim it's not a set but you could actually wear this together okay things like this that's in great condition and good condition i'm going to put on my poshmark or i'm going to donate it depending on what it is so things that i can get some money back for more likely than not, I'm going to put it on Poshmark, but something that I know that is still in great condition that I won't get a ton of money back for, I'm going to just donate to someone, a particular person, or to like a church or something. So, 
the donate pile is going to have a bunch of things that I'm not interested in or it's going to have things that are going to go to my Poshmark. Hence this Thule skirt. This is no longer my style. I was a Thule girl back in the day and now I'm not. So this is going to go on Poshmark. Um, I like pleated skirts still, but this one is not really my style. I don't like the elastic piece at the top. So someone who likes skirts like this, they can grab this skirt. And like I said, typically everything I put on Poshmark is in really, really great condition. Um, and I may actually put that link on my blog as well. So that if you girls are reading my blog post and you just see something and I'm like, hey, it's on my Poshmark, you can click from there. Other things that are gonna go in that pile is this, I think I have a picture in this. <laughs> this is a really nice dress. I never, I wore it once, but it's so big on me now because I lost some weight. But I'll show you guys how this looks. I mean, ho hopefully I can find the picture. Or maybe I'll just pop it on again for you guys. Things that are not my style anymore. <laughs> this right here. <laughs> what is this, guys? What is this? What was I thinking? This is old. This is Zara. No, this is Blank NYC. Child, I bought this like, we in 2023? I think I bought this in... Mm, I was in New York still, guys. So that's, that's a long time. Over 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks small, but it's just not my style. So that's definitely going to go on my Poshmark because it's still in really good condition. It's a faux leather, but it's really, really nice. Um, some jackets that I have. Poshmark. You have a donate pile. Your donate pile could actually be split into two. Things that you're actually going to donate to a location or things that you want to put on your Poshmark or some sort of selling site because that way... You're getting something back, especially if it's in really great condition. So these, this leather jacket, really, really, really nice. Got this many, many years ago in New York and absolutely love it. But it's not my style anymore. And then I also have it, <laughs> I told you I buy things in twos. I also have it in like this taupe color. It's really nice. It's a really nice jacket to be quite honest with you. Like it's really, really nice. It's in great condition. Um, so I'm gonna put this on my Poshmark. So donate is the other step that you always wanna do. And like I said, you can split that into two piles, especially if you wanna sell things to a luxury, you know, consignment shop or just donate to an actual person or to a church or something. So the fourth step you wanna always do is get into that trash pile. Okay, your trash pile are things that are damaged okay worn out i don't even know if i have anything that's damaged or worn out but i'm sure i can oh you know what look at this jacket this jacket right here it's old but it has like can you guys see that it's some paint marks on here and let me see what else it has a little bit of i don't know it's coming off there a little bit it has a little bit this is paint on it now Someone who doesn't care about it because it's very small, they can take this item and they can actually get leather, like um, cleaner possibly, or just like a dye and cover that up. But to me, this is damaged because it has paint on it and I'm not gonna go through the trouble of trying to paint over it. Damaged items you want to trash, things that have holes in it, things that are worn out, things that are, dare I say, dingy <laughs> dingy items need to go so if you live in a state where there's hard water and you don't have a filter you already know the struggle when it comes to things getting dingy you can always use vinegar and baking soda to get some of that out of your clothes i like to use those two on my towels if you didn't know that is a hat guys um it keeps them really soft and nice and fresh <laughs> So, so damage things you want to trash. So your trash pile should literally just have things that are like really not in good condition. Holes in it, worn out, cannot be repaired, period. That is a simple pile. Let's get into the last, last step. This is my favorite step. We're gonna put this on. I don't know, I'm gonna take it to a friend and see if they want it first before I actually say it's di completely damaged, okay? Because that is the only part that's messed up on here. Okay, so when it comes to our keep file, we wanna keep things that are fitting us well, 
We want to keep things that are our style, things that we have been wearing, things that we're going to be wearing, things that's gonna be worn this season or the next season, things like that. We don't wanna just go ahead and keep things that we may potentially wear. We wanna keep things that's your style, your personal style. We don't wanna take things and put them in our closets that we don't like. So here's another example of something that I would keep in my wardrobe. This top right here. I love it so much so that I got two. So something like this you want to keep. When you are in your closet looking at these things, you wanna make sure you're trying everything on and looking in a mirror. A mirror is going to help you decide on if this item is for you. Trying on things in a mirror, looking at yourself in a mirror helps when it comes to making a decision on if you want to keep the item. Think about when you go to a store and you're trying on clothes. When you go into the dressing room, what do they have? A ton of mirrors. This is so you can see yourself, how you look from all angles in this item. If you don't like how you look in the store, child, it's not going to change when you get home. <laughs> so we want to keep things that we absolutely love. I have some hats up top. And I have a ton of hats. So I like to keep my hats in these bags and stuff. I have some hats on display here, as you can see. Uh, but I do have some more hats here. This, these hats are like, look at these. These are not my style anymore. I can already tell you why. I don't like soft brims, unless it's a straw hat and I'm on a beach. This one is soft as well. So I got my hats here. I'll show you guys some videos of, of the hats, but I have four hats here and they're all pretty much soft except for this one, but it's not my style of hats. So I have a ton of hats here. I like lack of color. I don't know if I've said this before, but lack of color is one of my favorite hat brands because they ship them really well. They're nice, they're great quality. And I've kept them in really, really great condition and I had them for a long time. So hats are another thing that you want to think about getting rid of or keeping. It's a great accessory to add to any outfit. All right, so all of these hats, I can tell you right now, I have not worn them in over three years. Each one of these hats need to go in the Poshmark pile because they're in great condition um, or I can donate them if I see a friend and they're like hey I actually like the hat so I'll do that as well so like I said keep that stuff in mind so these are going to go bye bye okay so I'm looking at my skirts these are good I don't buy a ton of stuff now I'm gonna show you guys this I have not worn this yet I just did a video in it but this is a really really nice nice item I'm gonna wear it this probably soon, but I need the perfect pair of boots with it. <laughs> so that's like a unique piece for me. Like as tall women, we have to find pieces that are like different because honey, there's no clothes for us out here in these streets. I'm trying to tell y'all. So my blazers look pretty good. I don't have a ton like I said, but I wear all of these blazers, every last one of them every last one of them yep these are not pieces that sit in my closet and then i have this this one is really nice but i wear it so because the weather is up and down here in atlanta all of these jackets are being worn now i do have this belt that i got from etsy it's a really nice belt now you may think oh don't get rid of that don't get rid of that let me tell you what happened your girl must have gained some weight in her stomach because the belt don't go around my waist anymore. So this is something that I'm not gonna keep because it's too small and I'm not doing the whole inspiration thing. So this is gonna go to Poshmark because it's in really great condition and I paid a ton of money for it too. Okay, that was a purge guys. So that was just like out of, that was a purge. That wasn't even a keep. <laughs> so that was a purge. As far as keeping, again, I'm keeping these things here. These are the things that I absolutely love. These are items that I wear all the time. The same as the items in this section I wear, my pants, my sweaters, 
Most of the things in my wardrobe are things that I wear all the time. The reason why I don't have a ton to get rid of is because I do a really good job at following a certain rule and you guys are probably like, that's crazy. The one in one out rule, it's a really good tip to follow if you shop a lot and you're finding that you are not wearing your clothes. So that rule basically is, if you feel like buying something, you gotta get rid of something. Okay, girls. <laughs> so let's just say you want another pair of jeans. Go through your jeans and see what you have and see which ones you can get rid of and replace it with that one. Keep is the last piece to this puzzle. I hope you guys took really, really great tips because if you did not, Go back and watch the video. <laughs> so after you have figured out what you wanna keep in your wardrobe, you wanna start merchandising. So I'm only gonna go into that a little bit in this video because I'm gonna do a separate video for that as well. So when, you, when it comes to merchandising, you wanna put your stuff back in your closet by type and then by color. So if you are a girl who has a ton of colors in her wardrobe, you wanna use the rainbow, Roji Biv, you guys know when we were in school, as your guide but if you are a person who has a ton of neutrals in your cut in your wardrobe they usually say keep the whites and the blacks away from each other but depending on what looks good in my eyes when i'm in my closet that's how i'm gonna situate it in here for merchandise your closet by type and then by color that way you're able to see your stuff if you do have the room for it try to put things on display so you can see if you don't have a pants rack try to find pants hangers so that your pants are not getting messed up but this is a really good way to merchandise everything and get it back in your wardrobe and have it be aesthetically pleasing for you closet should be a place where you love to come into not a place where you feel like a daunt it's a daunting task when you're walking in here so make it pretty merchandise your items get everything in order that way it's easier for you to get dressed every day so i hope this helped you guys when it comes to detoxing your closet and purging the things out of your wardrobe i'm gonna link my blog post how to declutter your closet for the next season in this video for you guys because that is also a really good blog post to add on to these steps here they may be very similar but at least you'll have a place to go and just read it i'm also gonna link my style guides you already know style guides on how you can build a wardrobe how you can create a capsule wardrobe how you can shop high low those guys are going to help you in the long run when we, when we get to the last video for you to actually start putting in the clothes in your closet that you absolutely love. So guys, thank you guys for tuning in. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And make sure you guys are checking out my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services, Coco Styles NY. Dot com and I will catch you guys in the next one. Happy purging. Bye guys.